So here we are in our manufacturing and testing facility. We're processing sludge from Lafayette, Indiana, about 45 minutes west of here. This is 6% biosolids, 94% water. This is the waste from a wastewater treatment facility. Most of their water goes into natural water systems. This is what's left over. This is what they give to us to process in the air squo system. For Orange County, California, sanitation district, the first step in the process is pretreatment of the biosolids. First filters the sludge and then thickens it to about 18% solids. And from that point, it's ready for direct injection and treatment in the air squo system. This is the air squo system operating. Right now we are processing the biosolids that we've seen first in the dumpster and then going through the dewatering system. This is bringing those same biosolids up to 3,400 PSI. That's about 220 times atmospheric pressure and adding a significant amount of heat over 374 degrees Celsius, 705 degrees Fahrenheit to the reactor to create a very complete and a very fast oxidation process. What exits this system is clean water, a mineral brine, and vent gas. This is what we started with. This is the same 6% biosolids from Lafayette that we saw at the beginning of the process. What we end up with is a clean water effluent. This has a slight coloration because of the mineral contents. What we are left with after a drying process are fine mineral ash. This is about 3% of the overall solids that get fed into the system are what we are left with at the end, plus clean water and the vent gas.